Hey folks, Philly Boy J here back with another dessert recipe finally. I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my sweet potato pie from scratch. It's the Thanksgiving holiday season and people love to bring a delicious sweet potato pie to the Thanksgiving dinner. What you're going to need are three large sweet potatoes. Make sure your oven is preheating. You're going to poke your sweet potato with several holes. Poke all your sweet potatoes with several holes and then place them on a baking sheet. And you're going to place them in the oven and you're going to bake them until they are very, very tender. While they are baking, we're going to move on to the next step and focus on our pie crust. Okay, we're going to be making our pie crust from scratch. So what you're going to do is get a mixing bowl. To the mixing bowl, you're going to add your all-purpose flour. You want to follow that up by adding your sugar and your salt. And then you're going to whisk all of those dry ingredients together. Okay, so whisk those ingredients together. Whisk everything in really, really well. And then you're going to add your butter to your flour mixture. Now it's really important to make sure that the butter is extremely cold, nearly frozen. Okay. Then you're going to press and mash the very cold butter into the flour mixture until you are left with nothing but a bowl of crumbs. You don't want there to be any loose flour left. You want there to be nothing but crumbs just like that. Now what we're going to do now is you're going to create a hole in the center and in that hole you're going to pour your buttermilk. And you want your buttermilk, as you can see my buttermilk is really really thick. That's because it's been sitting in the freezer. You want to make sure your buttermilk is extremely cold as well. It's very important that everything is very cold and you want to make sure that you keep it cold. Okay, you want it to go in the oven cold. So you're going to combine your dry ingredients with the buttermilk and make sure you don't overhandle this. It's really important not to over knead this. Okay, you just want to bring everything together lightly and gently. If you don't, that'll result in really hard, tough pie crust and we don't want that. Bring everything together until you form a big ball of dough like that there and you're going to wrap that with some plastic wrap and you want to sit it in the refrigerator for at least an hour okay that allow all the butter to get in and out and around the ball of dough and give it its moisture here is our sweet potatoes as you can see, they are done and tender. What you're going to do is you're going to peel that skin off. Peel that skin off those sweet potatoes. And what we want is we want two and a half cups of mashed sweet potatoes. And usually three big sweet potatoes would give you about two and a half cups of sweet potato okay so break that up and then press it down and make sure that you have exactly two and a half cups that's how much sweet potato you need for this recipe and yep I got two and a half cups to look about right there you want to place the sweet potato in a big mixing bowl you're going to get your hand mixer or blender and you're going to beat these sweet potatoes for about two minutes on high speed okay and this is just to remove any strings that may be in the sweet potato so rinse your blades off rinse them off really well and then you're going to come back and we're going to add our ingredients now we're going to add all two large sides eggs we want to add our two eggs and this recipe is really, really good. I know that you guys are going to love it. I perfected it. And it has the right amount of each ingredient. 
think you're going to love it. Add your melted butter. You want to melt your butter. You want to add that to the sweet potatoes. And then you're going to follow that up by adding your evaporated milk. This is carnation evaporated milk. It don't have to be carnation. Just make sure that it's evaporated milk. Okay. And this is not the sweetened evaporated milk. It's just regular evaporated milk. All right. Then we're going to follow that up by adding our vanilla. You got to add the vanilla. You just got to add that. Okay. And then you're going to add some lemon juice. And that's just to balance out all the flavors. You know, we have a lot of sweet ingredients that we're using. Um, we're going to be using some carol syrup and some sugar. So just to balance things out, you want to, you know, give it a little slight sour taste. It's not going to be sour. It's going to be really, really sweet. But the lemon juice just balances everything out so that it's just not very, very sweet. Okay. Um... There is my cinnamon and my nutmeg. And I'm also going to add just a pinch of salt that enhances the flavor. It's an extremely small amount of salt. Then we're going to add our white sugar. I don't use brown sugar. I use white sugar because I don't want the sweet potato bob to be extremely dark. Okay, we already added the nutmeg and the cinnamon which is going to give it some color okay so beat everything in and the way that i blend everything in is i blend everything um in on low speed for a minute and then on high speed for about a minute to two minutes okay and there's my little spatula just making sure that i scoop the sides of the mixing bowl down because i want to blend everything in together Okay, and there you have your sweet potatoes. Now what we're going to add is we're going to fold in our light corn syrup. Okay, fold in your light corn syrup. And it has to be light, not dark. Light corn syrup. And this is by Carol. This is Carol brand. Light corn syrup. Okay, fold that in. That is an optional ingredient i would say if there's any ingredient that you don't need it would be the corn syrup all right you don't need that but it you definitely want to use it if you want to follow my recipe to a t okay so we're going to form our pie crust now on a flat surface you're going to add some flour and we do this just so that once we roll the dough out, it doesn't stick. This is just to make it easy to manage. As I always tell you guys whenever um, making something with dough. Okay, So press the ball dough down and then you're going to top it with some flour. Just dust it with some flour just to dry it out a little bit because it's kind of moist. Okay. And then you want to get your roller pen and just you know spread that thing on out really really wide so that it fits into our pie pan okay just 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 fold that on out just like that see and see how it's stuck a little bit I probably needed to add a little more flour to that side okay so that's the that's why you need to add flour that's the reason why so that it don't stick like that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it around the rolling pin and you're gonna dust it off you have to dust that excess flour off that's gonna make your pie crust hard you don't want that so dust that excess flour off. It's really extremely important to dust that excess flour off. Okay. And like I said, the objective is to make sure that the dough is always cold. So we only had it out for about three to five minutes at this point. So it's still cold. Okay. So you want to place it into the pan just like that. Just an easy way to, you know, just drop it on into the pan. And you're going to press it down and into the corners just to make sure that it's filling out the pie pan really, really well. All right. So press the sides down and in. You want it to be flat to the sides of the pie pan. All right. Then you're going to remove the excess dough on the sides. 
And after we do all this, we're going to sit it back in the refrigerator and we're going to let it chill again for about another 30 minutes. If there's any holes on the sides, see how I'm doing there? You just get that excess dough and you just press it up against those holes. Where there's any holes on the side of the dough, you just get the excess dough and press it up against the holes. Okay? And this is the way your progress should look. So what I did was I set it in the refrigerator for about a half an hour just to make sure that it was cold. And now I'm adding my sweet potato mixture. Make sure your oven is preheating on 350 degrees. You want to spread that all out. And then we're going to cover our sides of the crust with aluminum for you. They actually have some things that you can buy to cover that, but I don't have those, so I'm just going to be using aluminum for you. Okay. So make sure you cover those sides because they will cook and brown. We don't want no burnt crust edges. Okay. It's just not appealing and it's not good. So make sure you cover those sides just like that there. And that is your homemade sweet potato pie from Philly Boy Jam. Absolutely delicious. Follow this recipe to a T. The full recipe can be found on my website, phillyjcooking.com in the, obviously, dessert section. Also, I'll post a link that will take you to that recipe in my description box below. Okay, so I'm just slicing it now. But this is really, 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 really good. You guys are going to really love it. It has the perfect amount of each spice and ingredient. Now, sometimes you taste sweet potato pie and it be too nutmeggy. <laughs> I call it nutmeggy. It be too nutmeggy, you know. Sometimes I taste people sweet potato pie. I'm like, uh, I got too much nutmeg in it. Just it's too strong, you know. Or they add like a citrate, like lemon juice or orange juice and it's like it just be too tangy and not sweet enough this is perfect it's buttery it has the perfect amount of vanilla it's not too much vanilla in it it's the perfect amount it's the perfect amount of lemon juice to balance out all of the flavors and the perfect amount of sweetness perfect amount of cinnamon nutmeg you're gonna love it you're gonna love it because i make some of the best i said the best sweet potato pie in the whole wide world don't nobody make, I said, don't nobody make sweet potato pie like Philly Boy J. I'll pay you to find somebody. I said, I'll pay you to find somebody to make sweet potato pie like me. I'll pay you. You guys are going to love this. I know you are. Follow this recipe to a T. As I said, follow it to a T. Okay, for best results, you're going to love it. And make sure that when you're baking it, which I forgot to add, that you place the sweet potato pie on the top rack like you have levels in your stove place it on the top or medium rack so that it don't dry out and your pie crust is not crusty hope you enjoy this sweet potato pie by Philly Boy J peace Hey guys, it's PBJ, and for more of my delicious and easy to make recipes, visit my website at phillyjcooking.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all my latest videos, and come join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.